So it seems as though CDPR has been cyber attacked or cyber hacked by a 12 year old kid and to be honest with how it's been going with CDPR, things are just getting worse and worse for them. This actually doesn't surprise me. What does though is a lot of the community's response to this issue which we will go over later on in the video. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. So CDPR and Cyberpunk have been doomed with negativity since the release of Cyberpunk 2077. Some of the negativity you can understand as the game released in an underpass state and since the release we have seen countless issues pop up which you guys already know of and I don't have to go over them for the 50th time. Well today guys things went from bad to worse for them as they pull out a statement stating they had been cyber hacked and won't be giving in to said attacker's demands which are probably no doubt a bar of soap and a can of links because this kid, whoever it is, and we will get into why I think it's either a kid or a smelly fat sweaty cheesy puff eating no life basement dwelling attention seeking seemingly sad adult after we've gone through what CDPR wrote about the issue so let's check that out. So they state, yesterday we discovered that we have been a victim of a targeted cyber attack due to which some of our internal systems have been compromised. An unidentified actor gained unauthorized access to our internal network, collected certain data belonging to CD Projekt Capital Group and left a ransom note the content of which we were released to the public. Although some devices in our network have been encrypted, our backups remain intact. We have already secured our IT infrastructure and began restoring the data. We will not give in to the demands nor negotiate with the actor, being aware that this may eventually lead to the release of the compromised data. We are taking necessary steps to migrate the consequences of such a release, in particular by approaching any parties that may be affected due to the breach. We are still investigating the incident, however at this time we can confirm that, to our best knowledge, the compromised systems did not contain any personal data of our players or users of our services. We have already approached the relevant authorities, including law enforcement and the president of the personal data protection office, as well as IT forensic specialists, and we will closely cooperate with them in order to fully investigate this incident. So yes, yeah, CDPR said they will not be giving into any demands and have got the appropriate people involved with this matter. Now they also shared the note from the attacker which reads, Hello CD Project, you have been epically pwned. I mean is that even how you say that word now? I mean I haven't said that since I was literally about 11. We have dumped full copies of the source codes from your Perforce server for Cyberpunk 2077 Witcher 3, Gwent and the unreleased version of Witcher 3. We have also dumped all of your documents related to accounting, administration, legal, HR, investor relations and more. Also we have encrypted all of your servers but we understand that you can most likely recover from backups. If we will not come to an agreement then your source codes will be sold or leaked online and your documents will be sent out to our contacts in a game in journalism. Your public image will go down the shitter and even more people will see how shitty your company functions. Investors will lose trust in your company and the stock will dive even lower. You have 48 hours to contact us. I mean guys, you telling me this isn't some low life shitty in spotty good for nothing attention seeking parent missing son of a bitch or just a kid, it's one or the other. Because I am telling you now, my 12 year old daughter could word this much much better, it's actually pathetic. Now after reading both statements, what I do feel CDPR are doing and the means in which they release this publicly is probably a contingency plan for if more info does come out about the game and the shady practices, if any more exist, do come to light because I have a feeling that they might and if this dude does release info on things he say he has Although CDPR did say any personal information they have of ours hasn't been exploited, there are still things claimed here which if released could do a lot of damage. So we will see over the next few weeks people if anything else comes of this. Now another thing I want to mention is a minor part of this community's response to the issue. There are actually people out there defending this attacker, I mean like please give your heads a wobble if you think anything like this is cool and CDPR deserve it. 
I'd like to remind you that no matter the state the game released in, these are people's lives and it will mainly affect people who had in reality nothing to do with the launch mess. So please don't expose yourself as being idiotic by agreeing with this fool's actions. It isn't cool in the slightest. And on that note guys, I'm bringing the video to an end. Let me know your thoughts on this down below within that comments section. I mean things just get worse for CDPR, they really do. But let me know your thoughts on this down below and hopefully guys I will catch you on that next one.